are all on a search. A search for the fountain of youth. Particularly those of us who work in television. <laughs> and Sean White yeah. has found the secret. Is that for oh, real? Some great news though. The other day I got asked for ID uh, oh. when I was buying a bottle of wine. I was stoked. It was so good. All the experts agree about one thing. There is one potion that is key to anti-aging. It's pretty common. So the secret to tapping into youth, it's a very big question. It's showing us that you are two years older than what you are for your skin health. Cosmetic procedures, skincare regimes and edible beauty. It's a world full of promise, but the results don't always match up. Nutritionist Teresa Boyce says you should always start with what you eat. The focus on antioxidants. Antioxidants protect our cells from um, premature ageing and free radical damage. Avoid anything highly processed, so that's basically anything in a box. And the not so sweet news. Unfortunately, sugar is not only bad for our health, it's detrimental to, to our ageing. It actually binds to collagen and uh, exacerbates the ageing process. Maddie Samai from The Real Housewives of Sydney is the owner of the Medi Spa by Maddie. When you go to Westwood, you see 20 places that they do cosmetic procedures and it's becoming like very much a lot colouring your hair. So what are the most popular procedures in Australia? The number one is the botulism toxin, which the brand name is either Botox or Disport in the market. We also know that the dermophilas are growing and that is hyaluronic acid, what we inject in the lip. Cosmetic work aside, Maddie says it all starts with sleep. So she created a beauty pillow for ageing. It's called Forever Young by Maddie. I had a lot of clients coming to me and they complain about the vertical line, which is completely an opposite wrinkle to what you get to your expression. The idea is that it doesn't compress into your face. Instead, it's designed with the aim of cradling your face if you're a side sleeper. It's 100% latex and hypoallergenic, and Maddie says it can help prevent sleep lines. This is where you wear sunshades and you aren't wearing sunscreen. Today, we're at Skincare Clinic Face of Man in Sydney, talking with Australia's number one ultraceuticals dermal therapist, Katrina Flanagan. One of the biggest misconceptions is that a person doesn't need to wear sunscreen every single day. Absolutely not, because even if you're going between the train station and your car and the office, you're still seeing the sun rays. Get into a solid routine with a good cleanser, exfoliator and moisturiser. This morning I've stepped it up with an Ultraceuticals Brightening Accelerator Mask designed for skins concerned with hyperpigmentation. Okay, Sean, what do you think? I look so young. Unfortunately, there is no magic potion for the fountain of youth. There's definitely one product, though, everyone should have sunscreen. The environment's like the number one aging factor to our skin. So if you aren't protecting it, well then you're yeah. fighting a losing battle. Sunscreen is the answer. I feel like I'm about 28 now. Do you, think do you so? have to get naked for a facial? No, you do not. I've never well, had a facial. She asked me to take my shirt off, so I just oh, did. Right. I learnt nothing from that story except that you like taking your shirt off. He does and every that you've got a free you facial. <laughs> you are well, unbelievable. Is take your shirt off. <laughs> anyway, sunscreen's Sun really important. Shot. That's the main yep. message here. Not got my, it. Not my no, chest. we love you, Sean White, even though you just use these stories to get freebies for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> How's your pillow going? What? The pillow. <laughs> you my, 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 my beauty pillow. Yeah, your beauty pillow. Well, it's pretty good. I, do you not think I look, you look younger? Good. You look great for a man of 50. <laughs> You're such a spunk. But if you come in with, with the, your lips doing that, we're going to be asking questions. Oh, that was very good. Thank you, Sean. Well done.